Okay. I want you to focus on that face. Focus on that face. See that face? Yeah, this is part two. And um, black people, man, honestly, we got like a thousand churches in America, but yet nothing has changed. When will we, when will we really realize that religion is nothing but a scam? The biggest fraud in the world. But if I told you that to your face, most likely, and you're a Christian, you'd probably get highly upset. And the reason why you would probably get upset is because, hey, if it's true, then I have been living my whole life as a lie. And if there is no God and there was no Jesus, uh, what have I been living for? See, and people are scared of that. They, that's one of their biggest, one of their biggest reasons. Because see, like I said in my first video, I said, if you grew up, you know, most blacks had some type of religion in their home. Most likely it was Christianity. Some had Muslim and some uh, maybe something else, uh, Kwanzaa or whatever. But here's the fact that remains. Religions, all of them, are frauds. Now that's just my opinion. But then again, I can argue the facts of why religions are frauds. It's just to keep people bound. You know, and I'm not going to be bound. See, I believe the secret to um, being free is to not be bound by religion. If you look at someone who doesn't follow religion, they're happier, they're freer, and they don't seem to be uptight all the time. Uh, people want to believe in something greater than themselves, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it comes to a point in your life that you have to say, yeah, you know, I there's a possibility that maybe there is something else. But then again, I'm not going to preach something that's so um, um, obscure. I mean, Christianity is so obscure. Um, if you think about it, like I said before, if you really follow that book to the T, you'd have to live like a monk. Look at this guy's face. Black people, we love drama. We love drama. Not just, it's okay to have someone be articulate and uh, be somebody who has the ability to to be a, a good orator. Uh, we've had people like that. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, uh, Jesse Jackson, um, uh, President Barack Obama. I mean, these guys are good orators. But don't let the ability, the ability to speak well, fool you. Okay, don't let that fool you. You know, and then you have churches. You have people who have. I, I was raised in a church. I, I know exactly. It's not like I never been in a church and I didn't know what. I, look, man, I was one of them people. I was one of them people. I was one of them people with the tie on, the suit on, and you know, it was a great social club. But think about it. If black people, most black people, didn't have church. They wouldn't have a social place to go to. Sorry. Truth is, I ain't talking about the club. Because, see, I, I, that's another story that I don't need to really get into. Black people need to examine themselves. You know, it's the white man's religion. That's his religion. Uh, if he wants to believe in that shit, let him. To me, Christianity just binds you, keeps you bound you know, and, and, and you know you can't live a sex-free life. Um, you can't live a guilt-free life living under Christianity. You can't do it. See, it represses you. That's what Christianity does. Look at this man's face. Just take a look at it. He's in the moment of preaching, what they call the moment. And what, that's what I call it anyway. 
where he feels like he's filled with the Holy Ghost, you know. But really, it's just emotion. There ain't no Holy Ghost. Yeah, it might be holy according to them because they're in the church, but he ain't no Holy Ghost. He's just filled with emotion. Anybody can do that. Actors can do it. Singers do it. When they're emotional, when they're in the moment of the song or in the moment of the of the speech or whatever it is that they're doing. Look at this guy. Look at him. Sound good. I ain't saying nothing about his sexuality. Listen to him. See? We have done what the slave master did to us. Dehumanize us, uh, degrade us, demonize us, but then use them by our advantage. See, now, he's getting the crowd hyped because he's talking about a subject. Don't matter what it is. It could have been anything. He just ha happened to be talking about, like, homosexuality and all that. You know, you know to, to get people hyped up over that, you know, he's, he's, getting, he's getting these people in church hyped up over some stuff, okay? Are they really listening? Are they really taking in what the man is saying? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But they are standing up, captivated. You know, they'll leave. They'll say, wow, that was a great sermon. And still live the same damn dumb ass, stupid ass life that they've been living. Ain't changed their neighborhoods. Ain't changed their communities. Ain't done shit. And still five steps behind a white man. Yeah. Yeah, you got a few that's gone to college, but college ain't for everybody. How about trade? See, a lot of blacks want to do, what do you want to do? Be rappers and singers and football players and basketball players. Uh, you know, there's more to life. It, you can be a carpenter uh, and make good money or have, be skillful with your hands. Maybe even um, advance and, and do your own, uh, create your own business somehow. But because we don't, raise our children that way we raise them single parents no father in the home and just and they don't teach them anything see one thing i like about i believe in the asian culture is that in china they look at the child they study the child they figure out or they try to find out what is the child good at and then they suit that child to that now, the freedom of America is that we try to allow our children to be whatever they want to be. But if you don't really study your children and understand what, they're, what they are, how can you know exactly what they might be good at, that they can make a living out, a living out of? This is the thing that we don't teach. And, and I'm going to try to make this video short because I'm going to continue to harp on this because people don't get it. If you want your mind to be free, you got to be, religion means bound, to be bound. Uh, you know, if you look it up, it, be bound. They're bound. They're bound, religious. But I get it. People need something to look up to. But if you live the life, you can live a, a good, wholesome life without believing in any of that. There's a lot of good atheists out there that, that live like that. A lot of good people out there. They don't have to be religious. And one of the things I hate is that Christianity, they like to put their faith right out there on their sleeve, trying to be impressive and trying to draw you into their insanity. It's nothing but insanity. Uh, honestly, poor neighborhoods, the communities are still poor. They still got um, um, raggedy buildings, um, jobless men, unskilled men, women that are pregnant all the time, women that are pregnant and keep popping out babies after babies after babies. And really, self-hatred. I don't even want to go into that one. All I can say is that black people need to drop Christianity. I don't know how, how else to say it, really. 
I mean, it is like the worst disease out there at the moment, the mentality. And you can't change it because, see, people grew up in that. They grew up in that. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what else to say, man, to you people out there that, that are Christians. I mean, buffoonery to the highest. Just cockamamie stuff. Dancing around, shouting, like I said before, but ain't doing nothing. Calling on a fable. Uh, believing in a fable. Just to, uh, I guess, uh, keep the anxiety down. Um, I, I, I'm going to end this video. I just want you to think about what I said. Pathetic. Listen to this. Look at it.